So a while back I posted a poll on my YouTube channel to get a feel for how many of you would be interested in seeing a Minecraft build project I've been working on for many, many years now. And the resounding answer was a pretty positive yes. So, with that in mind, we're going to be starting a new series here on my channel, featuring my Legend of Zelda adventure map. Hello everyone, my name is Shells, and welcome to my Legend of Alex world. I'm going to go ahead and start off by giving you a bit of a background on this build project. Now, obviously, I am a huge Legend of Zelda fan, as I'm pretty sure you have figured out from my Princess Zelda skin. I, of course, grew up with games like A Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, those sorts of titles. Should give you an idea of just how old I am. So, when I was first getting into Minecraft and wanted to give myself a big project to do, I really liked the idea of creating my own sort of elemental temples like you see in a lot of the Legend of Zelda games. Then when I discovered command blocks for the first time, I gave myself the challenge to make a fully functioning Legend of Zelda adventure map. I spent a very long time constructing the adventure map I titled Legend of Steve. I worked to not only build all of the temples, but also to learn command blocks and redstone. This was all the way back in 2014, right around the time of the 1.8 release in Minecraft. And I wasn't on my own for this build. I had my sister helping out with the redstone and bosses. And you know, for my first large project, I was quite happy with the results. Now, that's not to say that the project was without errors. Far from it. For one thing, I didn't even try to actually tie the game in with any Legend of Zelda lore. I used the base ideas for world building and the like, but it was very much a Minecraft storyline with a vague Legend of Zelda theme to it. For instance, my main villain was General Spaz, which is in direct reference to one of my favorite YouTubers, Ethos Lab. So anyone expecting traditional Legend of Zelda storylines were probably pretty disappointed and kind of lost. I also had the issue where all of my temples were interiors only. It's no secret that I'm not the best at building exteriors to buildings, and it really showed in my earliest builds. A lot of my temples were just a fancy hole in the wall, with the entire temple buried in the ground. I also didn't have the strongest grasp of architecture at the time, so most of my builds were just fancy boxes. And I'd like to say that what I sacrificed in appearance I made up for with my excellent puzzle designs, <laughs> but uh, let's be honest, most of my puzzles were just glorified mazes. But again, for a first-time project, I don't think it was too bad, and we had fairly good results. After posting the map online, we ended up with over 80,000 downloads. I felt pretty good about my achievement. That is until the 1.9 update came out a month or two after I released my map that completely changed the way command blocks worked, and totally wrecked the thing. Ah, uh, well. It took me a while to start on Legend of Alex. I felt like I had accomplished my original goal of creating an adventure map, so I was pretty content with that. There was also the huge hurdle that I would have to face trying to relearn how command blocks worked. That was the thing that made my sister back out of any future Minecraft projects with me, so I knew I would be completely on my own for this one. But it was always in the back of my mind that I wanted to build a bigger, better Legend of Zelda map. So in 2017, I decided to start on a new map that I would name Legend of Alex. I first started throwing out ideas for color palettes and styles and puzzles in a super flat creative world. These were honestly just mind vomit ideas and only vaguely resemble what I have now. I then taught myself how to use World Painter, at least to the point where I could build some terrain to plop my brain babies into and start to more fully develop my ideas. My main goals for this project were to, one, develop some actual lore to better tie my storyline into the Legend of Zelda universe, two, create exteriors for my buildings and put more overall thought into their construction, three, create some of the Legend of Zelda races like the Gorons, Zoras, Gerudo, Rito, etc. Four, incorporate the Nether as a dark world and build at least three overworld temples and three Nether temples, plus a final dungeon, seven dungeons in total. And five, 
Have each dungeon completed with interesting puzzles that aren't just mazes or parkour, unique items that will help the player progress through the game, and completed boss battles. Honestly, it's a huge project. And even roughly six years into it, I still have so much to do that I feel like I've definitely bitten off way more than I can chew. I haven't even started on the command blocks or redstone portions, partly because I'm afraid to. And even with most of the overworld temples built, I find that most of the gameplay and puzzles and bosses are vague ideas at best and complete unknowns at worst. My dark world is in unfinished shambles, and while I've put a great deal of thought into my lore and storyline, there's still plenty of sizable gaps in it. I also have improved in building techniques since I first started this project, so I also need to go back and redo things I had previously considered to be done. It's, well, uh, it's gonna take a lot of work to get this map finished. I've thought about trying to hire a build team to help me build this thing, but I really don't have the resources to do so. It's really just me slowly chipping away at this project. So while this series is going to start with me touring what I've done thus far, it will probably transition to more of a building series as I try to build more things on camera with you and clean up existing problems. If you don't mind, I'd also like to discuss my ideas for things, like the lore and story, and maybe even ask for help and ideas for the parts of the project that I don't even have a clue what I'm doing. I'll admit that I've been a bit reluctant to share this project with all of you because of how unfinished it is, and because of how personal it is. This project is my baby. I've done everything you see here, and it's taken me a great deal of time to do so. Part of me is a bit afraid of how well it will be received. I think part of me was hoping that I'd have a finished adventure map to showcase to all of you before trying to make any videos on it. But since that's not gonna happen for a very long time, I'll just try to bring you guys into a partly finished project and drag you along for the ride. I know that this was a different sort of video, but I hope you all enjoyed it. And don't think that I'm going to stop doing tutorial videos. That's still my priority, but I'd really like to do this series with you, and I hope that you guys will find it fun and interesting. Thank you all so much for watching, and please feel free to leave your thoughts and impressions in the comment section. I'd really like to hear your feedback. And until next time, take care!